I took a Polaroid with Jun Cuddy on and I was out of film. <laughs> Why? Why is my life so terrible? I have the worst luck ever. Oh my god. Hey guys, so today I have a vlog for you on Toronto K-Pop Con. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a convention for everything related to K-pop music and Korean media and um, it's pretty popular in Toronto and it's been going on for a few years but this last weekend was the last one. Um, so I actually had the opportunity to perform at Toronto K-pop Con with my friend Suman Lee. Um, so we did a cover of Ma Boy by Sistar and it was such an awesome opportunity. Let me tell you guys something, I never thought that the first time I would be singing in Korean would be in front of a huge audience and not just like my camera for my tiny little YouTube audience. No, oh my gosh, it's actually really intimidating because uh, there, like it would, like it, it would, it's a huge, it's a huge venue. Okay, it was the same stage that Ace and Amber performed at, like the days prior to the Sunday when we performed, and also like um, a bunch of like famous people were gonna be there, like some really popular YouTubers, like Still Not David, um, and also the headlining act was Jun Cuddy on, so he would have been backstage too. So that's that's like really scary, and that was the biggest. Uh, concert of my life that I have ever performed at but it's kind of funny because like I was singing a k-pop song and not like my usual metal stuff <laughs> like even when I was with my old band the largest venue I performed at was the opera house in front of a couple hundred people um, but that was huge and like I'm pretty sure there were 700 people in the audience okay like I, I looked up the floor plan and the venue capacity for seating is 1200 something and the orchestra level alone has 714 people and it was packed like it was packed there were even some rows taken up in the balcony like it was packed oh my god and like so like obviously before like preparing for this show like I was pretty nervous because I'm like oh my god I can't I hope my Korean is okay when I'm singing in Korean like luckily my friend Suman she's Korean so she's been helping me with the pronunciation and making sure that like um I, like that I'm singing it correctly um yeah but but still like it's it's pretty intimidating like I'm your token brown girl singing k-pop okay <laughs> But anyways, um, it was actually so much fun and such a great experience. Like, I had a good time on stage. Everyone in the crowd was supportive. They were all singing along because everyone knows the song. And like, I could see a bunch of people in the audience in the first few rows and just throughout the audience like doing the dance, you know, for Ma Boy by Sistar. And like, it was so, it was so encouraging. I loved it. I had a great time and we actually nailed it. So I'm just, I just want to share with you some of the behind the scenes stuff and like a little bit of my personal experiences um, being backstage and how this all went. So enjoy. Hey everyone, so right now we are backstage at Toronto K-Pop Con and this is what it looks like. This is the first time I've ever actually had my own um, uh, room for a dressing room with other singers. There's a bunch of dance groups and singers today, but it's nice to have a little space just for us. So yeah, it's not like a huge room considering how many people we have, but hey, it does the job and I can do my makeup, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, everyone, so I've got my stage makeup on. I went really hardcore on the highlight today because um, on stage you really need it to pop more. So yeah, if you guys want a tutorial of this look, I could probably do one um, at a later date. I definitely didn't film one like just now. So here's a better outfit photo. I'm just wearing this black skirt um, with the stripy top. These cherry earrings I got from Forever 21 and I think it goes well with the outfit. Just like a subtle hint of red here and there and just my brown boots. They're very very comfortable. I go dancing in them a lot so I know I won't have any issues or fall or struggle or anything. So, yep.
this is EVO. They are a local dance group from Toronto, and it's led by Stephen Chow, who actually does original choreography for K-pop songs. Um, if you don't know what original choreography is, it basically means it's not a cover of the choreography from the music videos. It's actually um, his own composition um, that he teaches. So Stephen Chow, he teaches at Millennium Dance Complex, and he teaches at an advanced level. Um, I just started dancing last year, so I can't take his class because I'm like intermediate slash beginner. I don't know. I'm still pretty new to dancing, um, but hopefully one day I'll become a better dancer so I can actually take his classes because I really love his style and I love his choreography and just look how awesome it is. don't know who he is he's a youtuber and also he is part of a group called BGA he's a very talented violinist he sings too and um, yeah check out his channel he's honestly so great um, but he was a headlining act at the dream stage on Sunday um, so all of the dance crews and the singers and stuff we were like opening for him I guess um, so yeah so he's pretty famous you know and at the end of all the um, performances we all took a big group picture so yeah so we were all on stage and like like for that group picture and then everyone dispersed and before he left I went up to him with my trusty Polaroid camera okay where is it and like so I'm standing backstage and like I'm there with my Polaroid and he's like really close to me so I asked him I'm like hey June um, is it okay if we take a Polaroid because you know I wanted him to sign it too right that would have been really cool but he's like he actually said yes he's like yeah for sure let me just put my violin back I'll come back okay and I'm like oh okay so I'm waiting there for him to come back and then meanwhile the other event organizers are making everyone like leave like hey like you know being a performer doesn't come with a photo op like it doesn't include that just because you're performing you know like you guys all need to leave so he can do his actual photo op with fans and I'm like okay but he said yes yeah. so I'm still like waiting there like like on the side just kind of chilling like like kind of like with my stuff but but just 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 literally loitering <laughs> and then everyone's like leaving and stuff and then he comes back okay and um, he's a little bit busy so but like I waited for him to stop talking to a few people and then I approached him and like I didn't even say anything he looked at me he's like hey do you want the Polaroid and I'm like yeah sure let's do it so I, um, one of the other event organizers she's like oh I'll take it for you so you know me and my friend we pose with June and then like um, she snaps the Polaroid the flash goes off 
And then he, and I'm like, thank you. And he's like, no problem, bye. Goes to his photo op area on stage. And I grab my camera and I'm like, where, 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 where's the paper? Where, where, where is the freaking paper? Why is it not printing? Why is it not printing? I was out of film. I had used up my last film oh my god I was I was out and the opportunity was gone the opportunity was gone forever I'm like oh my god I can't believe that just happened like um, I'm a cry right now bye but it's okay because I did get a selfie with him right after my friend and I finished singing my boy by sister he was like hovering backstage watching the performances do you think do you think he saw us perform <gasps> But yeah, so he was um, hanging out in the backstage area and um, I just literally tapped him, like asked him for a selfie. So he took one with me and it was really great. Um, so at least I have that, you know, like at least I got a photo. So it wasn't the end of the world, but man, having a Polaroid would have been way cooler and like it happened, but it didn't happen. Ugh. So yeah, there's that. Other than that though, it was such a good experience performing and like a lot of my friends showed up so thank you so much if you were one of the people who were there um, cheering us on. I really really appreciate it. Um, I've been performing for so many years but never a show as big as this one so it really was an awesome experience for me. and. I hope I, I can do more things like this in the future and you know what I'm gonna upload the video soon here's a little sneak peek a little preview of like what we did in January <laughs> Yeah, that's a wrap of Toronto K-Pop Con. Thank you so much for watching. If you see anyone you recognize in this video or if I showcased any of your friends, please tag them in the comments and make sure they see it. Um, other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!